So the first of the men's semi-finals. Thank you. From Rod Laver Arena here at Melbourne Park. First hands Rafter to serve. Patrick Rafter against Andre Agassi. Well, that's a nervy oh, start, isn't it? That second serve hit the middle of the net. Alton <laughs> Newcomb uh, sitting up with the Fanatics. So this is better. Nervy start following it with an ace. Been serving that slider pretty well. And that, well, no call. I'll see a few of those whiz past him. Where was that ball going in, do you think? No, I think it actually might have been going wide off the tape, but they really do kick high and wide here with an angled return like that. Well, this is promising after the opening okay. double fold. After a serve, three aces. You can see Agassi split step and then looking left, move to his left. Completely fooled with that one. A little bit surprised to see him stay back there on the second serve. I, mean, I could see him doing occasionally. Well, that's interesting, playing a little slice volley. He didn't hit it all that well, as yes, we see the rafter camp, but I think the tactic will be worked out to play a few little sliced volleys that'll, you see him cutting underneath the ball to keep it low and short. I guess he doesn't pass quite as well if he's having to pick up low balls. Well, finishes the game. An emphatic style. In fact, four aces for the game for Patrick Rafter. It's one love. I can't ever remember Rafter starting off a match with four aces. One game. Well, four aces in one game sounds like you've... Won it to love. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, he's been a juice. But he's got through it safely enough. And that will be just a bit of a relief off his mind, I'm sure. But it has been a very hot day in Melbourne today. Very humid, very muggy. It was as hot and as uh, muggy as I can remember yes. in a long time. I think the, the temperature around 32. But the humidity factor was just enormous. 70%, I think. If we see too many of those sort of rallies, we'll be seeing this man winning most of them.
Thirty-five. What should Rafter's tactics be then off the Agassi serve? Well, if he gets the chance on the first court, he should be chipping and charging. It's hard to do it on the second court because Agassi, uh, Agassi kicks the serve out wide a bit. You pull too far out of court. It's underrated Agassi's serve, really, I think. Not that he serves a lot of aces, but it's not... People just think about his uh, ground strokes. It's reasonably solid serve. And that's his favoured one to the backhand. A kick serve that bounces out wide, takes the opponent out of court, and then just leaves a relatively straightforward put away. It's not about pace, is it? No, certainly not about the uh, trying to be as fast as you can. His average speed uh, around the 130, 140 mark. And still when he serve easily, so it's a question of spin and placement, variety. That was a lovely low volley. It was awkward and Rafter made that look easy. 15 low. Just picked it up off his shoelaces. Cute angle. And then look at the footwork there. That was an attempted body serve. Just Wasn't bad, 153. Just but stepped a little bit inside it, didn't he? And away it went. Quick little steps, so that's the key. There's a couple of adjusting steps. Hasn't lost a point yet when he's got his first serve in. And this was a courageous second serve. Well, he's playing more like Mark Philippoussis than Pat <laughs> Rafter at the moment. Six aces in two games, and he leads 2-1. Rafter leads by two games, 2-1. He's quick. 15 long. Was the idea right here, or was just an exec was it just an execution thing? No, not a bad jot. This is too quick. If you the drop shot on rebound ace has to be perfect, otherwise yep. it bounces up too high. cuter than that, could you, for a point? It was cutting and cutting and cutting. Uh -huh. Interesting contrast of styles of backhand and a lovely floated lob there. Agassi he gets himself a bit tangled up. He's running in line with the ball, so how can he swing? And in the end... He got too ambitious there, yeah. didn't he? He's going to play between the leg shot, I think. 
He probably could have got it back, but he was trying to do more than just get it back. Ooh, gee whiz. I don't know about that, Angus. He stopped the ball. And I don't know if that prompted... Uh, it was a late call, wasn't the it? The lady to call it out on that line. He's just querying it with uh, George Diaz. Pretty risky thing to do, right? Because he stopped the ball. You've got to wait till it's called, particularly that close. Uh, does enough. Followed from midcourt, levels it up at two all. Two games all. So four games in, have you learned anything, Alan? No. No, it's just a, a routine start, really, uh, except for the first game that Rafter was taking to juice. The other three have been comfortable. So no surprises, really, to answer your question. Oh, jeez. I think he's OK. See what happens here. Uh, just a, seemed to go over on his left foot as he pushed off to recover. <laughs> okay. Mopping it up himself. He seems to be a bit of a, a cleanliness. Uh, well, he's a law and order man. The ball yeah. boys have to be in the right spot. Yeah, that's right. Bit of a yeah. Everything has control to be, freak. Yeah, yeah. Much like yourself in a commentary box, Alan. <laughs> Still hasn't lost a point on first serve, Patrick. Now he's getting them uh, very close to the lines, which is important against Agassi. Five of the eight points have been aces, so I suppose that helps. Well, that's why you want to get as many of them in there as close to the lines, that one. Watch here, it doesn't cut away. He just has to turn the shoulders and hit through the line of flight. That's for Agassi is a pretty routine pass, that one. Gone there. Yeah, forced to play an awkward volley, hit straight back at him, could only fend it off. Not your. This one here, couldn't play it any more awkwardly than that. Now he's tried to guess, but was just leaning the wrong way. Well, I guess he's just starting to pick up the line of the serves a little more. He was on to that one. Oh, what a half volley. Beautifully guided. It's 3-2 in the first. Agassi to serve at 2 3. Thank you.
Well, that little bit of extra bounce Pinch there down. on the serve. You see it just stretched rafter at the last moment. Caused him to overhit. He'll send the ball boy back and wait. Just got to have everybody in their right spot. Oh, but once again, it probably wasn't a bad idea. Whether his approach was good enough or not, obviously not. Well, it had depth, but it really was straight to him. But he's got to stick with his game plan, and when it gets tight, I guess he might miss some of those. Yeah. But even when it looked like Rafter was maybe getting on top with that shot, look at the look at his reply. Cannon across court. She's got the angles all sussed out. Gilbert. Shouldn't be nail-biting time yet. And Andre, Andre is his coach. Yeah, so three all after 20 minutes. On is about even. Well, obviously even on the scoreboard. But Agassi probably slightly more impressive on serve. In fact, he's, I think he's lost two points on serve so far, so quite a bit more impressive. Rafter just applying some string savers to his racket there. Must be just a slight hint of uh, fraying of one of the strings. Too bad a serve. He really got it to kick up, but Agassi had moved forward and got on top of it before it got too high. The perfect reply. <laughs> well, one of the toughest shots in tennis. Made to look easy there by the athletic rafter. Miss hit return, so no pace on it. Backhand smash, that is a tough shot. Just pressing. So I guess he does that to you. You're always worried about the quality of his return, so you think I can't afford to drop second serves too short. And it was a well hit serve. It's always just in the back of your mind. And you overdo it. Oh, 
Oh, he's missed that. I can't believe it. I bet he can't either. Again, the brilliant return at Rafter's feet. Somehow he digs it up. Now he's gone for all money here. He just guesses one way, which happens to be the wrong way. And how would how would you believe that Agassi could miss that? What a let off. Well, a couple of errors from Agassi gives her after the game at 4-3 in the first. So for the first time, the crowd really trying to get involved here in this first set. The men's first semi-final. Rod Laver Arena. Patrick Rafter of Australia against... Andre Agassi, two-time champion here. Agassi with new ball, serving at 3-4. And he got there with ease and just caught the tape. Lovely touch from Rafter. That's a couple of lobs that have won in points. So it follows this one in, a little sneak play, and then a quick lob volley, and Agassi accelerates. I think that was going to be home. That one is. See, there's his serve. There's Steffi Graf. It's a sneaky serve, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it is. creeps yeah. up on you, and he's, before you know it, you've served a few aces. 15. And he hasn't looked like losing a serve yet. No. Gets so much on it, doesn't he? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tiger Woods with yeah. golf ball. Interesting. I think the slice backhand in the rally is quite a good tactic because he can get it. He can hit it firmly with a fair bit of spin and it'll skid a little. Keep it low. That's what you want against Agassi. You don't want to be giving him shots around waist, chest height where he can really launch those drives from. So the lower the better. So that's the one. Now he's going to get passed a few times, but that's really the tactics for after. really positive point he's won from the back the well I guess he really pushing the lines on that occasion as he does so well with his angle had a chance now to go for all first set been Rafter's best game as far as returning is concerned This is the big backhand, and it's four all. Big service game coming up for Patrick Rafter. Well, Rafter serving at 56%. 
It hasn't hurt him yet, but I think if he's to win this match, it'll need to get over 60. And they're after camp. Mum in the middle. 15 low. <laughs> that's the first sorry match that's of the one. night, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's one. <laughs> Had to laugh the other night. Uh, yesterday in the women's match when someone yelled out, sorry, mate, when uh, I think it was Martina did that. Agassi too good a cutter to pass, but he's onto it. He's quick. Gets to it easily. And he's ready for the return volley. And a simple put away. Pretty quick down the tee. I'm not sure it said 161 k's. It seemed a faster serve than that. Oh, great return. One handed there as well from Agassi. You don't usually see him forced to take the other hand off the racket. That backhand side. Big point that one. Yep. Very big point. All of a sudden, Agassi with a break point, and then he could serve out the first set. Well, a little bit of, I guess we'd have to say, negativity there around that point from Rafter. Too scared to serve volley on the second ball. First break point of the match. So well controlled at first volley. Juice. Again, has to play it awkwardly, but gets the depth on it. That's what won him the point. Oh. <laughs> That's too good. That's even brought a pause from Brad Gilbert. Just hooks it almost in down it, the line yeah, there. Yeah, it made it in easily in mm. the end. At one stage, it looked to be drifting. Another break point. He, just, <laughs> he was guarding it like a soccer goalie there, wasn't he? Rafter, it was like it came off the, the post and was maybe going to dribble in. Well, it was going to be a nasty volley, I tell you. <laughs> this goes over. Uh, yeah, that's true. Look at that. Uh, great response from Rafter. Got the serve out wide enough. Yes, the volley's routine once you can uh, pull up Agassi wide like that. Still only winning 30% of points on his second serve after. 
He's lost just three points on his first serve. Uh, this is a big serve here. Well done. Vicious volley from Patrick Rafter, chopping off Andre Agassi. And we're on serve still in this first set after 34 minutes. It's 5-4. It's hard to break serve if you're not winning the early points. If your opponent jumps out to 30, love, he's confident. You've got to get one of the first couple of points to uh, mount some sort of attack against your opponent's serve. This was almost a soccer goalie leap. I mentioned it before. Gee, he's a good athlete. Oh, gosh. Well, full marks of courage for Agassi. Have been any question about him in that department. And at love 15, second serve, goes for the second serve as ace, makes it. Exchange there, but in the end, there's always the little bit better control off the ground. He can do it all, Agassi. can't he, with mm. his different ground strokes, different angles. You just get the feeling that Raft is going to be the one to miss it. Oh, that's superb angle there. Rafter gave him the opportunity by angling his return. Just. In fact, I guess he hasn't heard the call, I think. Look, he's looking up. I think he thought he'd won the game. In fact, he had. That's what he was thinking. Was that out? You heard him. You saw his lip read there. Thinks he's made this. No, it was clearly out. Yeah, I think just missed. I don't think he heard the call. Sort of thing that might just upset well, you a little bit. Well, it does, because you think you've got the game. A little bit of relaxation. And now, oops, hey, I haven't. Now he has. Five all. Well, from a psychological point of view, particularly for Patrick Rafter, this first set, as far as the context of the match goes, takes on great proportions now at five all. If he could hold here and break Agassi or even win the tiebreaker, it would be a enormous boost to his self-confidence. Didn't miss that time. 
No, I'm a little bit worried that he might be overdoing the drop volley. Well, 15. Doesn't hit that one as well as he might have, but that's a simple pass for Agassi. Yes, spanked it. Bit of a roll reversal there. Yeah, it was a big shot though, wasn't it? Love 30 or 15 all. A good footwork here to give himself. He had plenty of time there to hook this down the line and just makes it. Initially. Must have come extremely close to clipping mm. the line. It was angling in, but not quite there. Whoa. It's as close as you can get yeah. and miss, isn't it? It is. 30 all then. Again, a big point. It's failing with the first serve this game. Yep. 56% for the night so far for Rafters. Percentage of first serves into play. Oh, he missed that by a long way. Well, again, it's the pressure of uh, the Agassi return. Andreas Bazaz, the Davis Cup team chiropractor, and Lara Feltham at the back there, Pat's girlfriend. A look of concern there. Rightly so. Oh, he's missed it, and that gives Agassi the break. Agassi leads 6-5. So as we pan back down from the open, open roof here at Rod Laver Arena, and Agassi 6-5 and serving. Well placed in this first of the men's semifinals. Well, I think the net court not helping Rafter there. He had a little wry smile. And I think that was going to be a winning shot had it not clipped the tape and popped up. Good positive sign, wasn't it, from Rafter, the way he tacked that Agassi serve. Floating the backhand, so comfortable ride here, serving out for the, uh, the first set, Agassi. Pretty impressive set of tennis from Andre. Three mistakes only. 
And that's the way it stays. First set to Andre Agassi. Agassi. The artificial light taking over here. Second set. First set won by Agassi, 7-5. Important service game for Patrick Rafter. Must have just had the win knocked out of him a little bit by the way Agassi played in that first set and the way he closed out after so much work from Rafter. Well, he's going to play a few of those tonight. Half volleys or low volleys as the return is rifled back at his feet. The service action of uh, Pat Rafter. And look at the eyes for the ball there, right on it. Bending down beautifully for that low volley. reaching for that so he's in trouble every time on playing a second serve conditions at night here as we get towards uh, dusk the ball goes through the air a little slower more slowly and that of course suits uh, Andre Agassi with his returning game and after pouncing on that a little bit of luck with the net cord This ball may have been going out, but I think Pat wanted to make a statement there about really hammering one away. Got it. Yes. Again, off the second serve, you see Agassi steps inside the baseline. He knows Rafter serve's going to kick up high. So watch where he is. He steps a metre inside, gets it before the ball gets too high so that he can get on top of it and get it down and get the angle. And, of course, during the day... Bright, sunny, clear day. The ball flies through the air faster and bites off the court, gets up a bit higher. And I think those sort of conditions would have certainly suited Rafter more. But there wasn't any chance at all that this match would be anywhere but tonight at Melbourne Park. Oh, a perfect volley from Rafter. Mum's happy with that one. So he holds serve, started the second set. Yes, the attention that this match will get and the amount of viewers around the world and particularly around Australia on this Thursday night. There were enormous TV ratings on Tuesday night for the Rafter Abati match. And you would think they'd be even bigger. And well, they'll certainly be even bigger tonight. So how does Rafter go about trying to get to Agassi serve? He hasn't had a break point yet. He's been deduced once. That's the way. Deliberately drop it short, bring him in, make him volley. <laughs> Except it wasn't deliberate. 
He's not a natural volleyer, Agassi. If he comes in on his own terms, in other words, after a big ground stroke, he's okay. Uh, drop shot not really working for Andre either. 30 all. Yeah, it's a bit of a low percentage shot, that one from Andre. Could have really hammered it down the line. Instead, all it does is bring Rafter in. And a smart smash just down the middle. Knowing Agassi would have to break left or right. And that's the play, 30 all second serve, chip charge. Nice and deep, Agassi refusing to defend. First break point of the night for Pat Rafter. And a second serve. Agassi has won six out of 11 points on his second. Oh, just, just overcooked it. Had a fair slap at it too, didn't he? Well, again, it was a, it was a aggressive second serve from Agassi. He's an uncompromising player. Plays at the match on his own terms. the harder of the uh, approach shots to hit. Go for that off backhand. Easier to chip it back down the middle or down that backhand line. drive down the line from Rafter. I guess he had started to mix the point up as he usually does with the angles, but Rafter... Yes. Saw the opening and made no mistake. Juice again. Well, it's becoming a pretty important first game, isn't it? Well, second game of the second set. But, uh, first service game for Andre. Oh, oh, perfect approach. Well, it didn't need to be an approach, actually. Started to move forward. Timed it so well, it was a winner. Chips. That's the perfect chip to backhand, a shot that's going out of the game, unfortunately. Oh, 
Jagger's here. Another tantalising rally. Rafter being pushed and pulled. Hasn't quite been able to nail the backhand, no. has he, Rafter, tonight? Well, it's not quite his game to have to go for a winning shot like that from the back of the court. That's Agassiz's style of play. In fact, 12 errors on the backhand. None for Andre. There's a good forcing return. Cheers. Certainly become a big game, this one. Just the greater penetration on the ground strokes when they rally. But I guess in Rafter's favour, he just looks like he's starting to pick up the Agassi serves a little better now and get a little bit more on the returns. Not that it was that great a shot, actually, but again, just giving Agassi something different, something to get him out of his rhythm. Gets to it easily, but surprisingly pulls it wide. So here's a little opening here. Oh, yes. Well, bit, bit of an accident. Lucky. Yeah. Stopped at stone dead, didn't he? Well, he caught it up near the top of the racket, which is why he apologised. And see their miss hit, but he'll take it. It gives him three break points. The move was right, though, the chip charge at Love 30. Oh, double fault to give Raft to the break. In the second set, and that'll help the way Mum's feeling. <laughs> Came out of the blue, that didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Well, I guess change, it did in in terms of uh, yeah, the way it that happened. But he did push him on the last service game. Agassi going to the cherry off in Rod Labor Arena. He's mixing up the backhands well here after, alternating between slice and topspin. Just not trying to, or trying not to allow Agassi just to get too much in the groove. Well, exquisite touch from Rafter. A lovely half volley to approach the net. This one here seizes his advantage, moves in, and just cushions that ball on the strings, taking all the pace off it. Well, the match hotting up. It's amazing what one service game, three or four points in a row, as we said, pretty much against the trend, can do. Uh, a break of serve, and particularly with Rafter serving first, it became 3-1, and then since then, he's just played with so much more confidence. Oh. Gee. Well, they were, they were deep, 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 weren't they? Yeah. yeah, lovely forehand, though. This is the great thing about Agassi. Down 15-30 there. He doesn't just nurse the ball in and hope that his opponent might miss. Tries to create something. Just a half opening there, and he found it. Oh, 
Well, lucky there again off the top. That was a terrific second serve, kicking after lunging at it, caught it at the top of the frame and fell for a perfect drop shot. What a time for that. Brings up a set point. What a great shot. <laughs> if, only he could, well. if only he could do it <laughs> deliberately. Cheers. And there's one of those sneaky aces that he does. Had a long look at it too, Patrick. Patrick. Well, that was out. There's no doubt about that. So another chance to take the set for Pat Rafter. He was gone in the point just about. And he came up with that. And the little family cheer squad there just doing a bit of an action replay for us. Last year we saw Agassi and Sampras on this Thursday night. And it proved Thank to be you. a five set classic. I wonder if we're in for something similar tonight. One set all. That's for sure. Punch in that volley from uh, Rafter. 15 love. Nice amount of slice on the ball to help it keep low, which makes the pass more difficult. Vital for both players, really, the opening here of the third set. After staying back, but he would be anxious to maintain the momentum. Agassi anxious to regain it. Well, he was a dead duck there, really. Good return. He had to half volley up. A little bit of a miss hit on the half volley. Here's the return again and his shoestrings. He's got to go one way or the other. He elects to go cross court. Agassi just passes him down the line. Just the ability to just hold the ball long enough. And that time Rafter holding his forehand that fraction of a second, waiting for Agassi to run to towards the vacant corner. Just props. Good wrong footing forehand. And there's that knifing backhand volley. One of the best in the business. 40, 30. High to low. Just coming slightly under the ball to impart the backspin. Pat Rafter holding first game, first set. an important game, really. First game to third set. Can't afford to have any let down or relax and be thinking about what a good job you've done winning the second set 6 2. Overall points in the match 69 to Rafter, 65 to Agassi, which I guess given how Rafter won the second set 6 2 would not be all that surprising, but uh, G. Agassi would have said was clearly the, the better player in the first set.
15 love. Well, the crowd really getting behind Rafter here. His confidence is growing, and so is theirs. You could sense really uh, the crowd were hoping at the start of the match and then their hero lost the first set. But they've uh, certainly come to life. A oh, cool customer. No panic there from Agassi. Guessed right. Or after almost had too much time to think here, didn't he? He thought, oh, oh, which way will I go? Well, Agassi guessed the right way, stayed. Yep. That was a big point, that, and well played, Agassi. Just a couple of uh, errors now coming from the Agassi racket as this match tightens up. Crowd starting to sound a little bit like a Davis Cup crowd. Mm. Shocking. <laughs> Just out, didn't. <laughs> Look at disappointment there, but it's a, the right shot from Agassi on the juice point, knowing how close Rafter gets. Ball them clearly out. So Agassi. Holding on there, tight game, but able to withstand Rafter. The crowd wouldn't be bothering Agassi. He would be expecting a partisan crowd. But he's very, very popular here. They certainly wouldn't be any anti-Andre Agassi feeling. It's just that everybody loves Rafter. quality tennis from both players absolutely there's that lob it's starting to I think lob do a little bit of damage great to watch though isn't it when there's lobs involved oh dear now that is a worry well he really dragged that one down and annoyed with himself And just when you think there's a little opening, Agassi uh, starts to apply the pressure. Yeah, good serve from Rafter. Still been winning 15, the greater majority. Four out of every five points on his first serve when he's got it in. Struggled on his second, though. And that's what Agassi faces then, 15-30. Rafter winning just 32% of points on his second serve. Oh, he's pushed it long. 15, 40. Again, the pressure that's always applied to you on the volley by Agassi. And he's earned himself two break points here. Yeah. 
Tony Roach. Pat Rafter's coach. Well, what a way to save the break points. I think that's his first ace to the backhand corner and we showed you that graphic. I don't think there was one out yes. there. That'll be the first and what a time to serve it. So the element of surprise, Agassi would not have been expecting that serve there based on what we've seen. 11-5. There's that backhand volley. It's a classic. I thought for a moment he just dragged it too far. It was uh, right on the line, but uh, puts him in a terrific position after where he was. And comes up with that again. So Rafter serving his way out of trouble and leads 2-1 in the third set. And this match now really starting to gain momentum as a contest, isn't it? Bit of intrigue. Well, serving way out of trouble is the appropriate phrase, Anthony. Certainly 15.40 serves two aces to bring it back to Juice. And then another one on the game point. And I guess he's just looking down at the where the ball landed. But significantly, two of the aces out wide to the backhand where he hadn't uh, served any previously. As we look at the winners uh, set by set. Obviously a lot in that second set compared to Agassiz because Rafter won at 6-2. Both had quite a lot in an extended or a lengthy first set. The first set 7-5 to Agassi, second set 6-2 to Rafter. Now it's 2-1 to Rafter on serve in the third. Thank you. Well, interesting point there. The crowd's really being treated to some variety in this match. Lob right on the line. Rafter follows it in. A little bit suicidal almost, but worth a risk, I guess. Agassi's reaction here. Let's see if we can pick it up. Well, may have caught a tear here. Did that catch a bit of the line? I think it did. Just the barest. Yes, the Australian crowd very certain that it caught a bit of the line, Alan. Oh, they thought it was well in a footy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, us unbiased observers, we weren't sure. stage of the match now for Rafter. And amazing the number of times uh, Agassi goes down the centre on that second court if he's behind a point, love 15 or 
Uh, Agassi holds two all in the third set. We had a, a poster today in the first match, I think, mm, wasn't Capriati. it? Capriati and Davenport drilled one at the at the post and it went back into play. He goes uh, on a patch brothers, Jeff, I think. That athletic move. Lovely lunge volley. 15 left. Just leaping on that ball. Fourth double fault for Pat Rafter. What if they went to five, Alan? Who would it favour, do you think? Well, they're both uh, terrifically fit, particularly Rafter, who put in so much work just leading up to the Davis Cup. He has an excellent uh, five-set record. One stage had won something like 11, 11 in a row. Oh. 15, Two doubles in a row. And the last time they played, it was a five-setter. Semi-finals at Wimbledon, and Rafter won on that occasion. He's got it. Gosh, he needed to be at his athletic best there. It's a wonderful contest we're seeing here between the pass and the volley. This time it's the volley winning. Ooh. Ooh, that could have been deadly, couldn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Rafter holds. Still this real arm wrestle in the third set. That Rafter just uh, starting to improve with his return of serves as the match progresses. Let's just uh, have a look here uh, as he's returning on the second court. So every time the ball's been served at his body, which is only a couple, He's won the points both times, which is why Agassi has stopped serving there. And when he's wide to the backhand, 36% of the time, 25% down the middle. And again, the body serve is returning that the best on the first court as well. So it's interesting that the more the serve has been hit to his body, the better he's doing. Of course, there's less of those serves. Agassi's serving down the backhand side. 14 on that first court, 22 on the second court. Mixing it up though a fair bit when you can see there Agassi serving wide first and uh, down the, to the forehand on the first court, center on the first court and same pretty much to the backhand court. So he's obviously not going to be serving too many more body serves.
Quindi... So, Rafter said something to the umpire. I'm not sure if he wants a new pair of shoes or something. That's where we saw Jeff Rafter disappearing out of the stadium uh, game again. I wonder if he's perspiring so much that the shoes are getting waterlogged. Uh, double fault count for both players starting to just... Uh, Mount up a little, only three that is for Andre, but five for Patrick Rafter. Said all, and Andre Agassi serving at 2 3 in the third. After allowing the rally to go too long there. It was rallying okay, but the longer it progresses, the more you would favour Agassi, the greater weight of shot in his favour. Agassi. The Agassi quickly up to that short ball, stays low. on the return but not that close Just misses his three all. Talked about the five set possibility before. The record, Agassi has a 19-17 five set career record. Agus, uh, Rafter 13-4. Phenomenal, isn't it? Yes, he, I'm sure it was about 11 or 12 in a row there that he won. When the match went to the fifth set, so fitness-wise, there's no problem. And they're both in... The pluses as well. Results. Something wrong with the uh, rafter shoes, I think. Seems to be uh, making aware of them. Not much wrong with his serve, though. No. We noticed first set it was below 60% and he lost it. Since then it's been above 60% and things are looking better for him. Ooh, oh, <laughs> well, that was a mishit return. He would have been stuck standing watching it, wouldn't he? That had to land it in. Yeah. 
Very confident service game from Patrick Rafter. We'll just see if he does anything with his uh, footwear. Looks like a change of shoes. Yep. There we go. I'm sure the others <laughs> was full of water. <laughs> he sweats so much. It's like he's going to a shoe shop there, doesn't it? Well, it could affect his uh, grip as well if the shoes are uh, damp, if it goes right through. But also they'd get heavy, wouldn't they, if they're uh, waterlogged? Well, they just sweat an enormous mm. amount. I wonder if he'll autograph those. Throw him into the crowd if he wins like Arno Clement yeah, last night. Yeah, well, I was getting a bit worried there for a while with you Arno that he wasn't uh, going to stop. Thought the shorts were next. No, looked like they were. <laughs> it was interesting to see, though, wasn't it? He, he, well, you can't really see him normally behind those glasses and with the, the bandana on. Well, I thought he was quite a personality, Clement. He, he was, yeah. yeah. What I thought was good about uh, Clement and Grosjean winning and even Martina Hinkis today, the way she won, it shows that there's still room for the little person in the game. You know, yeah. they're only 1.773 metres and the, the way the game's going now, the average height is about 1.85 metres. So Thank it's you. great to see some of the smaller players not being blown away. Well, this is the time. 3-4, one set all. Pivotal stage of this match. Just missed. Yes, he's looking at the line, but no doubt it was wide. He just mistimed that ball. Enough there to make it just fade on. It wasn't struck cleanly. It loses its line. And misses the line. It's Tony Roach, a former Davis Cup coach and now private coach this year for Rafter. Forced to play a low volley. Agassi not panicking there, not going for the clean winner. Deliberately just making sure after had a tough volley. It was enough. Oh, it's in. Well, oh, poor error there of judgment. Brad Gilbert can't believe it. Is he? What is he doing? So he makes no attempt to run for this. Thought it was going long. And it's an error he may live to regret. It's Juice. Well. Juice. Big point now, obviously. to Agassi, aggressive there at that critical oh, juice point, things. not allowing Rafter to be the dominant player.
Juice again. Well, the slice being quite effective. Juice. Skidding. And Agassi changing the line of flight, going down the line. Slight miss hit. Crowd trying to really pump Rafter up here. To no avail there. Disappointing yeah. response. Answers the challenge. So we were hoping for a tight contest here. We weren't sure. But as a set all and for all, this match is really up for the takings now. Which of the players is able will be able to exert his influence from this point? Finely balanced. Ooh. Just drifted on a bit further than I thought. Ooh. Hmm. What do you think? Well, I wouldn't mind looking at that one with that other replay that we yeah. have. Gutsy second serve. Agassi's done a few himself like that. This time it's Rafter. 15 all. Got to have a lot of confidence in your ability to uh, even think about that serve at Love 15. 14 days. Unlucky this game, hasn't he? The first volley missed by the barest of margins. That one again so close, but he's just living on the edge a little. A bit risky. And the door just opened for Agassi. Well, pretty handy time for this. And backs it up with another. And just wonderful serving from Rafter under pressure. Two aces at 15.30. it away confidently 5-4 in the third a couple of big games coming up maybe just one in this third set hard to get a read on where this match is going isn't it I mean it's obviously so tight on the scoreboard but for one one minute you think that maybe Pat's in a bit of trouble on serve and then Andre is thrown in a couple of average games as we have a look at the aces and uh Double faults. Rafter again just uh, 
fiddling around with the shoes, whether he's going to put another pair on. That uh, was strong serving from him there at 15.30. It did look uh, like he was in a bit of trouble. And if he had missed a couple of first serves there at 15.30, you know he would have had to play tough, low volleys. So able to get the first serve in at the most critical stage of the match thus far. Agassi still looks pretty good. He's made a couple of errors, that's all. But uh, Juice in that last game, when he was threatened, he came through strongly at the end. It's just going to turn on a shot here or there, I'd say. Lovely contest, though, isn't it? With, yeah, it's uh, fantastic. With Rafter, the consummate serve volleyer, coming forward, using his athletic ability. And Agassi trying to dent that game. And great on such a big occasion, too, that we haven't so often, or not so often, but sometimes in these, on these big sporting occasions, that the actual build-up and momentum and expectations are greater than what's delivered. Well, Rafter, obviously, with uh, great crowd support. Thank you. I guess he had 4-5 then in the third. Starts confidently. Well, cheap point there for Agassi. Not much on that serve. Routine, really. Bad miss from Rafter. He knows it. Well, one of his worst games for quite some time on returning. Three forehand errors. The trouble with that is you're quickly about to have to serve again. Yep. Well, four forehand errors for the game. One of Rafter's worst returning games for the match. So five all. Still, we try and work out what's <laughs> going to happen. Well, this is where Rafter lost his serve in the first set. Tiebreaker looks the most, it's almost the most appropriate yeah. way to decide this third set, but we're not there yet. Well, gee, he's got the rhythm now on his serve. He's serving very accurately now, very close to the lines. Wonderful serving. Impassive as ever, Tony Roach. Seen it all before. Three in a row. Nineteen aces for Patrick Rafter. <laughs> Crowd disappointed they didn't get another one. <laughs> Quickest games you ever want to see there. Both one to love. 6-5 as they change ends. And maybe we are headed for a tiebreaker. That's why we didn't see a return made in those last two games. Rafter missed four forehands. Come out and serve three aces. And then Agassi missed a return when he got his racket on. So we've had eight points without a ball being put back into play. Pretty unusual. Still Pat's playing with his shoes down there. Ten aces he served in this third set. Haggis are yet to serve an ace. In fact, only one in the last two sets. But he's not known as a big ace server. He's known, though, as a sneaky server, quicker than you think, and a lot of variety. And then, of course, backs it up with the heavy ground strokes. Two in one game for Rafter, those doubles in this third set. Luckily, didn't hurt him. Time.
Match in progress right on two hours. Opening point here vital for after. Thank you. Oh, he had the chance. Agassi let him off the hook there to an extent. Yes, he had a fair crack at that pass. Wonderful tennis from Magasi. He had the ball on a string there, corner to corner, and then finishes it off with this one right on the line. His eye off the ball there, obviously. He's going to angle that one across court. So another strong service game coming up. Steffi looks pretty bored, actually. <laughs> oh, she's been here herself, <laughs> done it hundreds of times. I've seen Andre do it a few times too now as well. Well, four straight games that have been completely convincing by the server. Tiebreak situation now in the third. Match could be hanging on this tiebreak easily. Tiebreak records last year. Well, he went for the body serve. Agassi quickly into position and just One found the up. tape. The tie breaks are always a fine balance between being too aggressive and playing safe too much. You've got to get the balance right. After looking up at his camp, I think, to see like, an indication if that was out. I think it was. Just jogging up and down on the spot, just loosening the muscles. Listen to that roar. Oh, a wonderful exhibition of serving tonight by Pat Rafter. For the whole match, he's only lost 10 points on his first serve. And he's got it in. Ooh. And that was almost another one. Very happy to see that ball stay back. Oh, Rocha Rocha getting, getting a bit animated. Yeah, he said Rocha something Rocha. there. Man. Now we're getting to the business end of the tiebreaker. Almost anyway, certainly decisive moments. Just before they change ends here. Two, three on serve in the tiebreak. So, still, we haven't got any reading on where this is going to end up. Fascinating battle. First set to Agassi, 7-5. Second set to Rafter, 6-2. Third set, 6-0. We're in a tiebreaker. 
three points all. Crowd trying to get involved and help out Patrick, encourage him. And one thing you know is that uh, Agassi will not take a backward step. He'll win or lose it on his racket, on his terms. It's the way he's played all his life. And one of the reasons he's been so good. Both players so strong on serve. It's going to be a real mental battle now, isn't it? I mean, one little mistake and it could be the set and maybe even the match. Well, this is Agassi. This is what he wants. Look at a second serve. given Rafter a forehand volley there. The backhand volley is just so sound. So technically correct. Racket head up, firm wrist, punch through. Thank you. Oh, oh there it was. It was a big point. As I said, one mistake was always potentially going to be very costly. And it was Agassi on the backhand. Only his sixth backhand error of the night. Thank you. And that sets up Patrick Rafter for a set point. Well, that's one saved. He's got a chance to serve it here, though. Well, his first serve, which has been so good tonight. And just listen to the crowd. Wow. Feel like we're at the football. It is, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thought he might have gone down the middle, but. Well left. Pat Rafter is ahead in this epic struggle. On points. Well, you would think he'd won, wouldn't you, by the way the crowd has responded. As Andre Agassi goes off for a comfort stop. Well, full marks to Rafter. Serving and bowling there on the set point. Well, ready. Thank you. After making his intentions clear in the fourth set, he's going to continue to press to attack. Swinging serve there. 30 15. Landing short, cutting away. series of long games here or whether the 
get going to uh, uh, really go for their shots and we might get some, some quick games. I don't think they'll be too long from Rafter's point of view. Yeah, or Andre's on that occasion. Yeah. So that comes another racket, I think, for Agassi. Also with the new balls, who said Agassi changes his rackets. Thinks the tension just drops off a little during the preceding nine games. So with the new balls, he wants uh, to have new tension in the racket. He's very businesslike, Agassi. Yeah, doesn't muck around, does no. he? No matter what. Ooh. Again, great control of the racket. Had oh, Rafter no. had to really slice inside out that volley there to push it into the forehand corner. Faithful backhand volley. Well, he's hot at the moment, isn't he, Rafter? Well, if he can get through a serve here, first few few service games, and really apply some pressure on Agassi while he's in form, he's a big chance. And there's a comfortable service game for Patrick Rafter. It's one all in the fourth. Well, an enthralling contest here. One of the best uh, backcourt players against one of the best serve volleyers. And at the moment, the serve volleyer has just edged ahead. 1988, I think it was, when Pat Cash was in the final here. The last time an Aussie made the final. Lost in five sets to Mats Verlander. Interesting to hear Agassi talk. You, you, you rarely hear him say anything out there on court. And he was parading himself for his first serve. Almost. Jeevy had have got that. There's a lot of ifs in sport, isn't there? But uh, the momentum and the pressure that would have been on Andre serving at 30 all would have been tremendous. So again, a pretty quick game. Nagasi leads 2-1 on serve in the fourth set of this match that's been going two hours, 20 minutes. Pat Rafter's uh, called for the trainer. I'm not sure, I didn't notice uh, any particular uh, Might just be problem. No. Yeah, it might just be some some sort of 
salt tablets or something for the can't quite see what he's doing there there's a little seems to be filling the water little vial of something there is a little water bottle with something magic elixir <laughs> Agassi with the advantage of serving first in this fourth set. The Raptor's taking his drink bottle with him. Interesting approach. You not usually see that, do you? No. So the key for the match is can Rafter continue to serve this well? Yep. If he does, he can win the match. If it drops off a few percent of that first serve, you'll be in trouble. Have you seen him play much better than this against a, a quality opponent? Well, he played uh, a similar match to this at Wimbledon in the semi-finals against Agassi, the highest quality, and was playing at least equal to this at Wimbledon. And he can't let Andre have too many of those chances. He'll take almost all of them. Again, the return straight at him so that Rafter can't penetrate with the volley. He can only set it up and is cleanly passed. Well, it went for the off-speed serve there. And easily returned. So a little bit of an opening here. Too good. Now there's a big bit of an opening. Well, we mentioned the first serve and it's dropped off a little. And one that he put Pitching in, he ball. went for a kicking one that was easily picked off. In the preparation there, how early he had the racket back. Bit of an open stance to disguise the direction of the pass. And perfectly executed. No, first serve. Responding there from Rafter. Another one, another terrific serve well, from Patrick is, uh, Rafter. Similar to the third set. Early in the third set, he was down 15-40. Came back with some aces, two aces on that occasion. Well, big point. Oh dear, good serve, tightened up. Yeah, the, I guess he had the body. And well, it's a risky shot, isn't it? He did well with the body serve. I guess he could only push it back. So he did have his weight on the back foot. About low percentage volley. It's break point. And now a second serve. And there it is. Agassi breaks. Well, uh, we headed for a five set classic. Well, you knew that was coming, really. Yep. The serve just dropped off enough to give uh, Agassi half a chance. It got back to Juice with some good serves, but that just poor shot selection from Rafter, the drop volley. I mean, they are just low percentage shots. They look spectacular and clever if you make them. So, momentum swing now. 
Agassi will really try to rush through this uh, rest of this set if he can. That's oh, good. That's good, yeah. Well, he's just heard in judgment a couple of times. I think he could have played that as well. I think he thought that was going wide. I must admit, I thought it was going wide too, but it really just dipped out at the very last moment. Uh, got a lot on that serve. 30-15. Can hold here. Go to a 4-1 lead in the fourth. Well, the edge has just gone off Rafter's play. You only need just to drop off the intensity a fraction against Agassi. Quick game is a good one as far as Andre is concerned. 4-1. So it's turned again, hasn't it? It'd be interesting to know what the potion was that uh, Rafter took. It's an energy don't drink or something or other because... Uh, don't want any of it, Stoney. Uh, he just went and lost his serve after he had it. Well, the, maybe he's feeling the pinch a little. Yeah, maybe, maybe he is. Uh, I mean, the, the spark just went out of his game for the last uh, five, ten minutes or so. Because a lot of that's caused by the pressure that Agassi constantly has you under. I mean, some of those rallies that uh, they've been having from the back of the court have no effect at all on uh, Agassi. That's the way he plays. But for someone like Rafter to be pushed from corner to corner at rapid fire speed, not something that he's used to doing. He just looks to have just gone off the boil fractionally. So can he dig deep here? Well, the crowd uh, were hoping for some sort of match. And they're getting one. Well, I wonder if he takes inspiration from Leighton Hewitt, Patrick Rafter. Saw him fight back in that remarkable match, which seems so long ago now, doesn't it, <laughs> against Tommy Haas. I think on day four. Came from five love back and four one back and four two back. And won each of the sets. But that's a long time ago now. Rafter at 1-4 in the fourth. Well, he may be tiring, but we said his five-set record's excellent and he's very, very fit. Sounds like the uh, Cyclops might be jammed. Some high-pitched uh, whistle that is evident. Well, I hope we're not thing something that happened in like in Barcelona remember that yeah. Anthony when he cramped up everywhere after uh, and ended up having to forfeit so there was a physical problem there yeah. well and that's a shot or the sign of a tired player he was stretched and he went for a low percentage volley 15, very high risk shot this he happens to make it but it means he's not keen to move back into court to play another volley not a good sign that one that all the zip has gone from the serve has yeah
This is what we were seeing from him in the second and third sets. tiring as, as it would appear interesting to see whether he mentally thinks well I'm better off saving myself and having a good crack in the fifth yeah. well, well, he's going to fight on here and try and break back and get it all over with well, only he would know uh, that how he actually really feels Two and a half hours of high intensity tennis here. Agassi looks as fresh as a daisy. I mean, he's perspiring, but apart from that, no signs of uh, fatigue from him. Taking a big circle there, you know, just walking around the baseline. And clever little drop shot there. A low ball. I guess he just comes up, slices under it to impart a bit of spin. Yeah, after not running for that. Gee, this is a bit worrying. Another quick game, five two. Well, this is a major worry. Agassi would have noted, uh, obviously, the intensity has gone from the rafter game for the moment. Trainer knocked back out. So we have a look at the winners, and uh, of course, there is a tremendous number of winners. Pat Rafter, we know, I don't know of any player that sweats as much as he does. So he certainly loses uh, litres of fluid, I yeah, would say, does. in a match. But he he prepares well. He knows that, of course. It's always been a, a factor in his career. He drinks plenty of fluids leading up to all the events that he plays in, particularly when it's hot. But he's played very successfully the American summer circuit where he's won two US Opens under the hottest of conditions yeah. and played through the whole summer circuit there in hot humid places like Cincinnati, Washington, Toronto, those sort of places, Indianapolis, which get as hot and humid as you can imagine. And then finishing it off at New York in uh, August, September. So he has been able to handle the, the heat. Rafter then serving a 2-5 in the fourth set. He's two sets to one up. And just really nursing that smash yeah. in. Oh. I, I, keep, his... I keep thinking he's about to go down in a in well, a heap with cramp, but it's only the little uh, bu bugs that get on the... Oh, I'm not sure. He really didn't stretch up for that smash. Or that serve. Would you say he looks similar to how he looked in Barcelona? Yes, yeah, I would. He didn't stretch up at all for that. I would say that he's in big trouble here. Yeah. 
And he, he couldn't do anything about it there, could he? In Barcelona. No. Well, he couldn't continue the match. No. They couldn't really explain it afterwards either, could they? Like, as to why it had happened then and not in the past? No. So in Barcelona, of course, the Davis Cup final, he had to forfeit. He'd won the first set. He lost a tight, in the tie break, he lost a tight second set against Juan Carlos Ferrero and got stricken with cramps and had to forfeit the match. You can see he can't run for that, I'd say. He's going to be lucky to uh, continue this match. I asked him about it at the Colonial Classic last week. What did he think happened to him in Barcelona? As we see, Agassi easily put that away. He said he felt that he watched all of Leighton's match, long match beforehand. He got so excited, his heart was pumping, he was tense, he was nervous. And that's what caused him when he got out to play. The stress of all of that previous and the build-up caused yeah. the cramps. And he said it never happened to him before like that. But you can see that from about the fourth game of this fourth set. So this is just absolutely tragic for Patrick Rafter as we are now at two sets all. And he looked up there towards the umpire and just a forlorn look. Trainer is back. Well, this is devastating news for Rafter fans as we have a look at the fourth set. The regularity of it just pushing you corner to corner every point. Peter Bellinger down talking to, to Pat. Well, he's coming out to give it a go in this fifth set. Uh, we, we noticed when he came out, if you remember, before he bought the drink out, didn't he, last yeah, time? Yeah, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Because that just doesn't happen. No. Well, trying to pump some yeah. energy to loosen up those muscles. First couple of games will tell the story here in the fifth. Fifteen love. So he will not want any long points at all. But the key game, obviously, is his next one when he has to serve. Now, from Andre Agassi's point of view, he's just got to forget all about that. His man is still out there competing. They're in the fifth set of a semi-final match in a grand slam. And his cramping opponent has just hit a winner. So he has to treat this as Rafter being 100% fit until the end of the match. Very stiff legs, though, hasn't he? He's yeah. walking like he's a puppet or something. Well, he's got to go for early winners. Well, this has been devastating for Rafter. So after a couple of winners, which gave everybody a bit of hope, but this game will tell the story, I believe. 
his first service game in the fifth set. Crowd trying to lift him, but I think it's going to take more than that. He's just trying to see if he can loosen the muscles. Pending, sometimes cramp does pass. And it can be massaged out as it was there. And depending on the severity of it, you can play through it. The one very famous match. Final of the Australian Open at Kuyong on grass. Vetus Gerolitis and John Lloyd of England. Gerolitis cramping. John Lloyd too nice a guy to actually put him away. And the cramp finally left uh, Gerolitis and he won in five. It's such an anti-climactic oh, yes. climactical finish, isn't it? Well, it sort of knocked the stuffing out of everybody, it hasn't has, it? It has, yeah. I mean, it was a really tremendous match with everybody's expectations that Rafter could maybe win when he took that third set tie-break. John Newcomb saw this in Barcelona. The Davis Cup final. Look at that left leg there. As soon as he pushes off the left leg yep. to extend up to the serve, that's when it cramps. So he couldn't push up there. So he's just got to go for winners. So I'm afraid this match can only end in one way. Yep. It's almost, you, you want him to play it out, but it's almost like he shouldn't play it out, isn't it? Well... Especially if you're putting yourself in, in some sort of danger of doing further physical damage. Well, his next uh, duty is Davis Cup for us. Somehow he's fighting on here very gamely. Well, his mother must be just so hurting inside. Somehow to hold his serve. Just on sheer guts. What an extraordinary battle Patrick Rafter is facing now at one all in the fifth set. We, we sort of gone a bit quiet, yeah. Alan. It's just hard to know how to respond to it all. Patrick Rafter, brilliant to take the third set in a tie break, go to a two sets to one lead. But as the fourth set wore on, it became obvious that Cramp was playing a big part in how Rafter was being able to play. He lost it 6 2. Somehow he's held serve here. It's one all in the fifth, but Agassi serving. And Rafter with no choice but to go for it.
Well, you just wonder how he's going to break Andre Agassi's yeah. serve. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, it's cruelty of sport sometimes. <laughs> and just hobbling over to play that. And you just wouldn't wish it on a, someone like Pat Rafter. You couldn't get a better bloke. And you can see there his girlfriend on the left, his mum. Got no hope of winning the match, I don't think. We'll see if he calls for the trainer. Let's check on advice from him. It looks like he's going to continue. 2-1. Should he keep going? As long as he can? Well, yes, I think probably. I mean, as we've said, he hasn't dropped his serve yet. He's hoping that it, uh, he may be able to play through it. You don't get to the semi-finals of the Australian Open too often in your career. It's the first time he's been here, and it just would be just devastating for him. So I can see him thinking that pretty much going to have to carry him off the court. Yeah, I can see him thinking that he knows he's got that forfeit with uh, against his name from the Davis Cup, and he wouldn't want to have it even though it's semantics in a way yeah. against him uh, here as well in a semi-final. Well, I wonder what's going through his head right now. And so he's just uh, breathing uh, deeply. Yes, the crowd not knowing how to respond to the situation either, really, are they? No. Well, I think they're in a state of shock. They're trying to lift him, but basically they're, I think, numb. I think they, they know that it's just about an impossibility from here. And they were so into the match, it was, they were so excited by it all and the prospect of, you know, one of the great heroes in Australian sport maybe getting through to the final of the Open. It reminds you a bit of those images from some of the first women's marathons they had in the Olympics yes. with the staggering into the stadium and trying to get around and you're not going to stop me. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Well, that's not that far away from Patrick, but of course he just couldn't react quickly enough and get there. Normally he would have made that volley. Playing on guts alone at the moment, Pat Rafter, not much else. Playing on memory as well in a way, isn't he? Yes, he's just trying to hang in there as long as he can. It can only be a matter of time before Agassi cracks three winners. Perhaps being a bit cruel, but it also reminds me a bit of watching the the legends play out on the uh, on the courts. <laughs> Not you, of course, Tony. Well, he's put so much effort into his serves, which is obviously about all he can do. That he just about can't move if he can't make the first volley. No. So break point here. Must feel so just helpless, must yes, it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, not unexpectedly, Andre Agassi breaks. And for him, I guess, a strange feeling. Yes. 
Well, as I said, he, he has to treat it that uh, Raft is 100% fit. He's out there playing. We're in the fifth set. Chance to get to a Grand Slam final. I mean, he can't ease up in the slightest. He can't feel sorry for Rafter. He's got a job to do. Not his fault that his opponent's uh, cramping. He's just got to get on with trying to win the match. He's such a sportsman that he wouldn't like to win it this way. Looks to me like Rafter's going to see it out, though. He'll almost be hoping that it's over quickly, though, won't he? If he's not going to win. I think you're right, though. I think he's come this far now. It's 3-1. It'll be 4-1 in a couple of points. sad to watch i gotta say i'm a bit devastated with all of this being a davis cup selector and a good mate of patrick's and watches on with horror yeah. <laughs> as Patrick Rafter limps to defeat. 1-4 in the fifth. Hard to think of any more bizarre anti-climaxes no. than this in sport. No. And, I mean... He was so devastated about it in Barcelona because his whole year really had been geared around. We won the Davis Cup the year before and he was out with the shoulder injury. So he didn't get his name on the cup, even though he was brilliant for us, getting us through to the final. And then uh, the year 2000, he spent his big interest, his big hope was to win the Davis Cup. We get to the final. And then that tragic happening there that he got the severe cramps there and had to forfeit. That really hurt him personally, very deeply. And there's Tony Roach. He must be shattered as well, the work they've put in. And everybody thought it was just a one-off thing. And to see it uh, happening again here, the next major outing. So Rafter. Still flicking little insects away. Nice. So here he is anyway. 1-4. Fifth set. Grand Slam semi-final. And he can barely walk. Well, I think the first thing that will need to happen in the next couple of days is he'll need to undergo a series of tests, I yep. think, Anthony, some medical tests as to why this should happen. It's happened after about two hours of tennis, just over two hours. Did Certainly high-pressure tennis, but not in the heat of the day. Did he have such testing done after Barcelona? Well, he wouldn't have had it done there, but uh, I'm not sure if he had a series when he came home. I think they felt it was just a one-off thing, but now it's not. This is the second time. Well, this is different to Barcelona. He hasn't spent three hours in a dressing room by himself watching Leighton Hewitt on the TV and getting excited and getting all pumped up and getting nervous and getting tense and getting emotionally involved. He would have been very relaxed.
coming out to this semi-final. Maybe he was stressed about thinking about the match. Doesn't seem that sort no, of no, I, don't, I don't think so, no. Well, you've got to give him full marks for uh, gutsing it out anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think he just would refuse to just uh, concede. left in the second serve just catching the line Just hangs on. Not that route, Somehow, he has held serve again. He's only a breakdown, Stoney. <laughs> yes, well, that's true. Crowd just, I think, one last effort to try to see if they can lift him. Maybe a run of double faults here. For well, <laughs> strange as things could happen, Agassi could actually trip and <laughs> sprain an ankle. Yeah, I guess it's possible. And then he's all right for the final. Don't you like? You wouldn't wish that on him, no, of course. No, you wouldn't. Not even you. <laughs> Sound like you might. No. Nah. Well, I'm a big Agassi fan. I'd never wish him any injury at all. There. Well, as soon as something happens where he's got to move or turn or react quickly, it just grabs him, just locks. And he can't react. <laughs> it must be so frustrating for Patrick. Hearing people trying to urge him on and yeah. he just can't respond. Impossible. 5-2. Agassi's one game away from his place in the final. What appeared to be an inevitable move to the final for well, most of this time. Certainly once Sampras was out, we all thought it would be an Agassi somebody final. And then just for, well, about 20 minutes tonight, Patrick Rafter appeared that he might just be the man to stop Andre Agassi. Went to a two sets to one lead, and then that has all counted for nothing in the end because Cramp has hit him hit him badly. Agassi's taken the fourth set, 6-2, now leads 5-2. Rafter bravely has fought on here, but a stunned crowd have watched as uh, the man they were right behind, Patrick Rafter, has been unable to... Uh, get his body to do what his mind wants it to and with cramp he's down already two service breaks and serve here to try and stay in the match and we're all a bit stunned mm. 
Three yes. hours and two minutes. It's robbed uh, the occasion, hasn't it, it of has. what was really setting out to be something special, I think, when he led two sets to one. Could he hang on? Could he keep his game at that high level? Could he keep serving at that wonderful level? Or could Agassi find a way to pick where the serves were going and to uh, blunt the net game of Rafter? I mean, the questions were all there. The answer, we weren't sure. And this has really been very, very disappointing. And none more so than Rafter. We're only spectators. Well, he's going to have a crack now, isn't it? He knows it's his, either his last or second last game. And he's going to keep on trying. Please you know, remain quiet during play. Thank you. Really, if he gets to 6-3, it'll be a remarkable effort, won't it? Yes, just to have lost serve once. Yeah. I don't think Agassi's unduly worried. He's pretty confident of serving it out. Sensational effort from Patrick <laughs> Rafter. Andre Agassi to serve for the semi final here at 5 3. Agassi leads by 5 inches to 3. One down. Well, Agassi through, no doubt, to the final as the defending champion and a worthy finalist again, no doubt, Andre Agassi. He's a great champion. He'll be disappointed that in the end, Rafter wasn't able to uh, physically give his best. Been a slow and painful death for Patrick Rafter here. Crippled by cramp. is through to the semi-final from the semi-final to the final for the Australian Open and he didn't do it in the way he would have liked five sets three hours but the story of the night Patrick Rafter and his unfortunate demise Crowd all standing and applause for Agassi, but as we've been saying, unfortunately, somewhat of an anti-climax. Well, I think they're appreciative of the efforts of uh, Rafter. They were thrilled with his uh, first three sets where he led two sets to one. There were hopes there that he could get through to the final and maybe end the drought of 25 years since we've had an Australian... Uh, Winner, Rafter just uh, thanking the crowd for their support. There's his family and coaching staff. He gave it his all, he hung in there. He didn't, he saw out the match. 
But once we saw the signs of cramp, Anthony, I think we both felt there was really only one conclusion, and that was the match was over at 3-1 uh, in the fourth set, really, as Patrick uh, was about to take his leave. Let's hope this is not the last time we see him. He said retirement is imminent. Let's hope we see him back here again at Melbourne Park.